Do you want to know how to survive as a sloop, especially when you're up against bigger ships like a brig or a galleon, specifically around this idea of how do you avoid and evade and maybe get away from ships that are chasing you? Well, that's what we're going to cover in today's video. Hi, my name's Hippo TC. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so you never miss a new video i also stream sea of thieves every single week over on my twitch you can find all of that information in the description below with all that being said let's jump into the video sea of thieves is an amazing game but to be honest it is a little bit difficult as a solo slooper or even just as a duo sloop slooping in general can be difficult because a sloop is not the fastest ship in the sea it is only the fastest if the wind is going directly towards you and you're going directly into it with your sails completely flat if you're doing that then yes you can get away but let's be honest most of the time the wind isn't in our favor so here you are you're asking yourself the question how the heck do you avoid evade and escape other ships that are chasing you down especially if they're a brig or a galleon which are way faster when the wind is on their side with all that being said let's talk about a recent experience that i had the other day i was streaming we were going for the keg hall record which at the time was 335 and we set the new record at 350 but about around the 250 keg mark we had 250 kegs on our ship mind you we were starting to get chased by a brig now with 250 kegs on your ship you really cannot afford to get in any fighting whatsoever one single cannonball can bring the whole thing down so we were at a fort collecting more kegs to put onto our ship when i saw a brig coming right for us and we needed to get the heck out of there so we got to the ship dropped the sails and started sailing away one of the first things you want to do when you're getting chased is what direction is the wind coming at and then trying to figure out on the map where are you so if the wind is coming directly towards you that's the direction you want to aim your ship on a sloop so that no other ship can kind of catch up to you but sometimes that doesn't favor you so you want to keep in mind where you are in the world of sea of thieves before you kind of make those decisions well, in this case, we were just a little bit south of Lonely Isle. We were at Skull Keep, so we were kind of sailing west is the direction that the wind was taking us, and the brig was chasing. Now, the first thing that you want to do, trying to uh, evade and avoid and escape other ships, is to create a big gap between your ship and their ship. And one of the best ways to do that is to board. Now, I did try to do that. I boarded the brig, and as you can see here, I had a little bit of a confusion on the anchor at this time i was actually taking screenshots so i forgot to turn my hud back on so i couldn't see the command for the anchor drop which is unfortunate but here we are i did end up getting killed maybe i distracted them a little bit but that didn't quite work out so after that failed attempt, uh, me and Stray took two of our 250 kegs and decided to do a double board on this brig. Now, I don't normally recommend having kegs on your ship. In fact, I don't think it's a good thing to do. Kegs really are going to be one of those things that are high risk and high reward, but there's a lot of risk that comes with kegs. So if you're solo slooping, I do not recommend putting kegs on your ship. I think it's a very bad idea. We took two of those kegs. We double boarded this brig. We were able to get them off. Uh, we did kind of uh, incapacitate this brig. The, the masts were down. I dropped the anchor. They did get me right before they sunk. So they were able to kind of bring it back. But during that time, we were able to create a really big gap between our our ship and their ship and this is kind of what i want to jump in and kind of talk about and analyze with you during this time i was kind of formulating a plan a plan to bamboozle the brig as we were sailing west i noticed in the distance a sloop by sanctuary outpost and i started to kind of think of this idea of i wonder if i could kind of trade aggro from the brig to this sloop now it's unfortunate for this particular sloop but for us it was kind of like this idea of we can't take one shot one single shot will bring us down so i have this idea and it's actually something i've done multiple times throughout my sea of thieving it's using the environment to your advantage and cutting off line of sight plays a lot to kind of how to sail in the season how to avoid evade and escape 
uh, other people that are chasing you. So because we had great distance between our ship and the brig that was chasing us, we parked behind this big rock. Now, in this case, again, using the environment to our advantage, the brig was a reaper, so I could see exactly where they were on the map, and we had to time everything just right so here we were parked behind the rock watching the brig who has a reaper watching this reaper sail on by and we slowly moved our ship around the rock as they were passing to the north of us once i was for sure that we could drop the sails and go the exact opposite direction we dropped our sails and we boogied out of there and watching kind of from behind you could see that the brig fell perfectly for our trap and they went for the other sloop buying us significant time to get away and try to put as much distance as possible from us and this and this brig that was chasing us and this is just one example of many that i'm going to start kind of making videos on here on this channel where we're just kind of reviewing my wins my failures on stream and just kind of analyzing it and talking about it so if you guys really like this make sure to hit subscribe make sure to hit that like button and comment um, so you never miss a new video and we're gonna do more of these types of videos just kind of more low-key kind of uh more chill and if you guys want me to analyze your videos jump into the discord uh, you can find those links in the description below there's a channel specifically created for links for review where i will pull these links together and i'll pull these clips together and we'll just kind of analyze them here on the channel uh and yeah so yeah thank you again for watching everyone and i hope to see you guys later